So, what have you got for me? The pool buggy's been checked over and the 53 separate DNA samples have been collected. And using biograph data, we've matched all the samples taken. And? 52 of the samples come from loyal company members, sir. And the other one? The remaining sample comes from a zoner, sir. A zoner? Zone 5, sir. He crossed the Caldor City border approximately six hours before the first murder was committed. His name is Castaniago. What's he doing here? Holiday, sir. Holiday? His normal occupation is robot programmer. Check company records, see if he's an employee. I already have, sir. He isn't. Then check the freelance list. I've done that as well, sir. There's no record of a Castaniago ever being employed by the company, freelance or otherwise. Then... I think we have our man. This is good work, Roll. I won't forget it. Do you know where he is now? Yes, sir. Hotel Calibri. That's located in the eastern sector of the city. We could have a couple of your guard squad units there in half an hour. Yes, but we have to make sure we get him. As soon as he suspects we're on to him, he'll disappear. What do you suggest? Or oh, perhaps First Master Carnell... No! I am not paying that smug, patronising weirdo to tell me the blatantly obvious. I think I, or rather, we, Rull, can handle this ourselves. For a start, why use my guard squad units when the company security is available? Don't forget, this will all be above board. In that case, I think we should put the hotel under observation. And when this Castaniago appears, we pick him up, kill him, and then take his body out to the blind heart. No, Rull, that's exactly what we don't do. Pick him up, yes, but then... You bring him back here, stick him in a security cell, and get him to reveal who his employer is. As soon as you find out, no matter what time of day or night it is, contact me. You'll need to requisition some weapons from central stores. Don't bother with stun kills. This bastard's using plasma bullets, so you need to break out some firearms. Here's the issue and use order. I always like using projectile weapons in combat situations, sir. Consider it my special treat. Just don't mess it up. You can rely on... I think that concludes our business for the moment. Justina! What kept you? The lift was delayed. You've been stuck up there on the roof all this time? You must be frozen! Anyways, back to the flyer now, as we have another meeting to attend in half an hour. Come along, Justina, and stop that shivering. You're making me feel cold. When we get back to the flyer, I want you to contact the company board and tell them. How much longer? The bastard's been out all night. Because he hasn't checked out of his room doesn't mean he's coming back. He's coming back, trust me. Where would he be on a night like this? Killing some first master, perhaps? Yeah, I wish. Oh. This wind's cutting through me like a knife. Well, stop complaining, Cotton. You're still on company time, aren't you? Roll here. He's entering the building now, sir. What? Uh, say again. He's entering the building now, sir. OK. All units, suspect has now entered the building. Stand by and wait for my orders. Kyle, where is he now? He's entering the lift. He's going into his room. Stay where you are. I'll be there in 30 seconds. All units, suspect is on his way to his room. Units two and three surround building. Take up positions. Unit one, prepare to enter the building on my signal. Okay, Colton, this is it. I stay here, right? Wrong. You come with me. Where are we going? Hotel reception area. If our suspect doesn't come back down, then it's safe to suppose he's going to stay in his room for the rest of the night. What a shit place to stay. Yeah, right. You'd expect an assassin to have more taste, wouldn't you? There's Kyle over there. Doesn't look like our suspect is going to come down, sir. What room's he in? Fourth floor, room 407. Door code? 67677. Got that, Cotton? 67677. No. Yes. 67767. Yes. No. 2121. Listen, you twat. 76767. No, sir. It's 67767. You got that, Cotton? Yes. Okay. Unit 1, come into hotel reception area. Do it quietly, understood? Understood. Carl, you come with me. We're going up in the lift. Cotton, you're in command of Unit 1. When they arrive, lead them up the stairwell just in case the bastard decides to come down that way. Which floor do you require? Fourth. Fourth floor. Thank you. You armed? Yes, sir. They issued me with this handgun. I'm cleared for it, but I'm not exactly a marksman. OK, when the lift opens, we'll make our way to his room, then wait outside for the rest of the... <clears throat> what are you scratching for? Ah, sorry, sir, but it's these trousers they've given me. 
They are really itchy, sir. Yeah, if you say so. What do you mean, sir? Been partying in the sewer pits, have we? No wonder you got an itch. No, no sir. Really is a trouser, sir. Ah! Shit! Ah! Drop the pistol. You know me, fat man? Oh, bastard. That's what I am, not who I am. Oh, are you going to answer my question, or am I going to put a bullet through your other ah! leg? Which floor do you require? Floor six. Floor six. Thank you. Now, that gives us more time to talk. We'll start with my name. Oh! What is it? Castaniago. That's right. We're learning. Now, what are you called? Ro. Six floors. Now, listen, Ro. We can do it the easy way or the hard way. This is the hard way. I go out the front door of this hotel using you as a shield. The easy way involves your comlink here. You tell those trigger-happy thugs outside that I've escaped out the back of this building. And if they want to catch me, that's where they're going to have to go. Make a choice now, because I'm not a patient man. Which floor do you require? Ground floor. Ground floor. Thank you. This is Ro. Fugitive has escaped from the rear of the building. Units two and three pursue immediately. Now, if it was unit one that I heard coming up the stairs, then that leaves the foyer clear. Oh. I can't walk on this. You can die on it if you prefer. Move. Oh, oh. Why do you need me? The front's clear now. Insurance. Are you checking out, sir? No, but you are. Come on, Ron. I haven't finished with you yet. Oh, where are we going? Your flyer. I'm in no fit state to fly it for you. No need. I can do it myself. Now get in. Why did the first master shareholder send those grunts to kill me? How would I know? So it was the shareholder. Ivanov, isn't it? You're in deep shit, you know that. I appreciate the warning. Now for the rest of this journey, oh. keep your mouth shut. Wake up, Yuvanov. Wake up! What? Who is it? Guess. Taryn Capel. Guess again. Castaniago? That's right, you bastard. Now get out of that bed. <laughs> get up. Off the floor. Oh, all right, I'm getting out. I'm getting out. It's dark. I can't see. Get over there. Sit down. Oh, I'm sitting. I'm sitting. I've got a question for you, First Master Chairholder. I want to know why you sent a security team to kill me. Well, it wasn't to kill you. They were instructed to take you alive. How very reassuring. Why, Ivanov? You killed Mechman and Ryan. You're a hired assassin. That's what I am, all right. But I didn't kill them. I'm on holiday, as it happens. Can you prove that? That I'm on holiday, yes. I mean, can you prove you didn't kill them? I'm going to prove it. By not killing you. Iago! No, wait! I think we can do business together. What sort of business? I want you to work for me. I'm a very generous employer. Why should I trust you? Well, why shouldn't you? I need your help. I need you to save my life. This is the work desk at which my executive assistant usually parks her lazy backside, and here is the door to my office. Come in. Nice. Yes. You have three messages. It's the best view in the building. That's the benefit of having an office at the top. Computer, relay messages. Message one is from Birth Master Landerchild. Commencing. This will be the second time I've asked you to contact me, Yuvanov. I hope there will not be a third. The board wished to meet with you urgently to discuss the recent deaths of First Master Bibo Mechman Computer, and First message Master off. Relay second call. Message two is from First Master Cardell. Commencing. I received the autopsy and forensic reports this morning, Ivanov. I do hope this delay doesn't mean that you've taken matters into your own hands and sent a security squad out to apprehend Castaniago. That really would Computer, be very message off. Next message. Message three is from Deputy Operations Supervisor Cotton. Commencing. We had a few problems last night, sir while trying to apprehend suspect Castoniago. 
Basically, the Hotel Calibri has gone up in smoke. 19 members of the security team were shot dead and our suspect has got away. Operations Supervisor Rowe has gone missing as well. The hotel was still standing when I left. And the 19 deaths? I was responsible for one. Then what the hell happened? Computer, contact Deputy Operations Supervisor Cotton immediately and put him through in my comm link. Forgive me, but it appears that that flyer out there is heading straight for this window. It's a routine flight path. They come close sometimes. 19 dead. How are we going to explain this? Suicide pact. Be serious. I don't seriously care. Deputy Operations Supervisor Cotton is now on hold. Nineteen dead? They go into a firefight, sir. Who with? Each other. After Operation Supervisor Roll disappeared, there seemed to have been some confusion on the ground, sir. Roll is in a medical facility getting treatment. I saw him this morning. Ivanov, we'd better get out of here. That flyer's coming through your panoramic window. Confusion! Open door! Move! Sir! Sir! Yes, sir. <coughs> we are going to have to deal with this. Yes. But let's deal with it after lunch.